I'm Keisuke Sano, a college student who works part-time at a family restaurant. I spend all of my money on my favorite idol, Ami-chan, from the idol group ABC24. You look cute today, Ami-chan! My break's almost over. I reluctantly started getting ready to get back to work in the middle of Ami-chan's livestream. Hey, are you on your break? Yeah, my break is just finishing now. I'm Ami-chan's biggest fan, but I'm actually in love with Erika Hanazono, a senior employee in the restaurant that I work for. Your voice is so quiet. The key to serving customers is to be cheerful and smile a lot. The taste of the food is important, but so is the quality of the customer service. It makes a difference as to whether a customer will come back or not. Okay, sorry. Erika-san was a wonderful woman who had a bit of a strict side, but she was very caring and reliable. <sighs> Erika-senpai, you're wonderful. My feelings for her grew day by day, even though we had nothing in common. I want to go out with Erika-senpai. Ami-chan, share your power with me. I'm gonna ask her out. If I don't, I'll regret it forever. Did you want to talk to me about something? Um, uh, uh, well... What is it? Are you done yet? I love you! Please, go out with me! Are you serious? Of course! I'm sorry, but I can't. You're too lame. <laughs> I see... Your clothes are always dirty and your hair is always shaggy. On top of that, you have a lot of weird idol keychains on your bag. I bet you're not very popular with the girls. <laughs> I had to laugh to avoid crying. Erika Senpai was creeped out by me, and she left quickly. I'm too lame to go out with? Does that mean she'd be okay with it if I looked cool? Would that make any difference? D dang it, this sucks! I can't give up. This isn't over. I'm gonna transform myself to look cool and ask her out again. I walked straight into a department store on the spur of the moment, figuring that such a place wouldn't have anything lame on sale. I've come in here ready for action, but I have no idea what to buy. Welcome. Can I help you? Uh, Please let me know if you need anything. She's a cute clerk. Um... I'm looking for some new clothes. What do you think I should buy? Are you looking for next season's clothing? I'm looking for something to wear right now. Let me show you around. How about this shirt? We use breathable fabrics because spring is getting shorter and summer is getting longer these days. You can wear it for a long time if you wear something nice over it, depending on whether you're warm or cold. Would wearing it make me more fashionable? Yeah, I think it would suit you. I also have a casual jacket that goes with this shirt. Would you like me to show it to you? Uh, please! Oh, she's sweet. I know she's just treating me like a regular customer, but I'm heartbroken and in pain, so I appreciate her help. The length of the skirt and jacket are important. I think it'd be a little bit more balanced if they were both shorter. Wow! I look totally different! It's like magic! I'm glad you're pleased. I have a pair of pants to go with these, too. Shall I bring them over? Sure. This clerk, Yamada-san, was very courteous to me, even though I was very nervous. I wasn't a fashion expert, so I was surprised at how much an outfit could change the first impression I gave to people. I'll take it all. Thank you so much. I felt like I was about to make an impulsive and unreasonable purchase, but Yamada-san realized from our conversation that I was a student and told me that she had selected clothes at reasonable prices for me. She's so kind, cute, and beautiful. I wonder if there are more people like her in this world. I hope this will make me feel a little better too. That weekend. What's up with your clothes? You look like a different person. 
I dress this way sometimes, and I thought it'd be nice to come out for a drink like this. You look much better dressed this way. You should do something about your hair, though. It looks... shaggy. Uh, oh, uh, I didn't think about that. But changing what I wear has changed my mood. It's like my whole world has changed. Stop overreacting. I felt great and hoped that if I dressed well and fixed my hair, Erika Senpai might like me more. Uh huh. Could it be? The clerk from the department store? Oh, those clothes. Um. My name's Keisuke Sano. Thanks for your help the other day. I'm here today for a drink with my friends, and they all said my clothes look nice. I'm glad. I'm here for a farewell party for someone I work with. What a coincidence. Actually, I... The day I went to the department store, I just asked out a woman I liked, and she rejected me. She told me I was lame and that she didn't like me, so I went shopping for clothes to change what I look like. I know that feeling. It's so frustrating. I was bullied at school. They used to call me lame and ugly. I took it upon myself to become fashionable out of frustration. Really? I can't believe anyone would call you ugly. I made an effort and improved my appearance, but I still don't understand people who diss other people's looks. I got back at them in the best possible way, though. I became more and more fashionable and proved them wrong. I'm sorry. I got carried away and rambled on. I'm surprised to hear that you had the same problem as me. Uh, what's wrong? Do I have something on my face? I think you still have room for growth, Sonosan. Would you be willing to let me give you a makeover? Uh, sure. I'd appreciate it, but... Then let's exchange contact info. I know a good hairdresser. We should change your hairstyle first. I could tell by looking into her eyes that she was a kind person who would take the job seriously. I agreed to meet her the following weekend and waited for her in front of the station. Ami-chan looks like an angel in yesterday's live stream. She's so precious. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, what? She looks just like Ami-chan. You look different than usual today. I always wear a formal uniform for work, but my casual clothes are usually more girly. I made an appointment for you at the beauty parlor. Let's go! Oh, yeah! A few hours later... Um... Do I look okay? I feel uncomfortable. You look cool! Like an idol! Isn't that too big of a compliment? There's a certain look I'm trying to give you. You look just like... Like... who? We suddenly heard a kid crying and went to check on him. What's wrong? Where are your parents? Where's my mom? I lost my mom! I'll go tell the policeman that you're lost. I'm sure your mom is looking for you. Yamada-san and I took the lost boy to a police station. You're a very kind man, Sano-san. Uh, what? Isn't it normal to do these things? No, you're very kind. You're a good person on the inside and the outside. So now you should be able to get that woman to go out with you, right? Uh, th th that's... Uh... What's wrong? I wanted to change my appearance just to ask out Erika-senpai again. But why does it feel like I don't want that anymore? <laughs> You're gonna be fine. I love her smile. She's an angel. I guess I'll try asking her out again. <sighs> the next day at my part-time job... Sure, I'll go out with you. You're at a level now where you're worthy of dating me. You look cooler. Uh, uh, what does she mean by I'm at a level? Why have I always liked this person who disrespects people with impunity? I can't do it! I'll never go out with a woman like you! Huh? I told you I'd go out with you, didn't I? 
Even the way you say, I'll go out with you, is so disrespectful. I don't respect people like you, so I can't date you. What? Idle nerds like you can never be in normal relationships. All you do is spend your money on your favorite idols. I didn't think I'd said anything wrong. I found myself standing near the employee entrance of the department store where Yamada-san worked. Huh? Sano-san? What you doing here? Sorry for suddenly showing up here like this. I was waiting for you. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Today, the woman I liked told me that she'd go out with me. What? She said she finally liked the way I looked. Which was something I'd have never been able to achieve without you. So you're going out with her now? That's good. No. I turned her down. Why? When she said that she'd go out with me, I felt disrespected. So I said no. Besides, I... I realize that I like you. What? My favorite idol is a woman named Ami-chan from ABC24. The other day when I saw you in your casual clothes, you looked a lot like her. I'm not sure if that's the only reason I've fallen in love with you or not, but... Uh... Actually, I've liked you for a long time now, too. <sighs> I'm an idol nerd myself. Takuya-kun from The Lovely Prince is my favorite. There were times, like when you cut your hair, that I thought you looked like him. I think that might be why I fell in love with you. But I'm sure I fell more in love with you when I got to know your gentle side. I was certainly attracted to your hard work and kindness, too. So we're both in love with each other then, right? Yeah! Regardless of how we came to love each other, it's clear that we're both attracted to each other. Are you okay with me liking idols, though? Of course! I'd love to go see your idol with you! How cool it is to have a boyfriend who knows how fun it is to be into loving idols! Now that we started liking each other's idols, we enjoyed our idol activities together. You're lucky to have gotten seats to Takuya-kun from this close. I think you're cooler than him now. What should I do? I had also been thinking that Mari was prettier than Ami-chan lately. I guess she was my new top pick. <laughs>